Considering the fact that a software extractor from motion photogrammetric software deals with images for building a 3D model, it's quite clear that you should have good images in order to have a, a good output from the, the software for the processing inside the software. So in this video, I'd like to show you how you can judge the quality of your images inside the software Agisoft Metashape using the tool that um, allows you to estimate image quality. It's a tool that is based on the sharpness analysis of each pictures that may is, is inside your data set. And I'm gonna show you how it works, how you can run it, and just a couple of words about the results that it can give you in order to estimate if your data set is good or not for your processing. So once you have uploaded the pictures inside Metashape, you have this information about information here in the, the details view here in the photo pane, photos pane. The, the information about quality is of course empty because the software didn't calculate it yet. So in order to have it calculated, you just have to right click on an image. Why, yeah, why I have another chunk here? Sorry, remove this chunk. Yes. Um, right click on one image. It doesn't matter if it's the first or the last one and find the tool estimate image quality. A new window pops up and you have to choose the images that you'd like the software to analyze for you. You can choose between all cameras and that means all cameras inside this chunk. So if you add more chunks inside the entire works workspace, this tool, this option will enable the software to calculate the quality just for the pictures in that chunk. If you'd like to have the software calculate the image quality for all the pictures inside the entire, inside the entire workspace, maybe there are more than one chunks, you have to choose here, entire workspace. In this case, if I choose between all cameras or entire workspace, the results, the result would be exact, exactly the same. If you'd like to check the quality just for a couple of images, you can switch between, we can switch to selected cameras. You have to select the cameras here, just once one camera selected or a multiple camera selection and hit OK. In this case, I'm going to go with all cameras and the process starts of course uh, it is not a, a long process but of course if you have a lot of pictures it will take a little bit of time in this case it will be quite fast at at the end of the process you can see that here the quality uh, the informa quality information has been filled uh, with a number with some numbers quality inside metashape is uh, a number that starts from zero and goes up to one. Zero is bad quality, one is excellent quality, but you can have, you can also have some pictures that have more than one in terms of quality after this process has finished. Uh, we'll go through them uh, in a while. If you read some papers or some manuals or if you search inside forums around the edges of Metashape, you can read that a good image quality starts from 0 0.5 and up. In my case, personally, I tend to use pictures that have a quality that is higher than 0 0.7. In this case, there are there is a good quality, a, a good overall quality because each picture has got a quality that is higher than 0 0.8. So it's really good quality. I'm gonna show you one of these pictures. So this is um, an area next to the, the main river that we got in Italy, which is the Po River. And this is an area, uh, a rural area um, that is just aside the river. These are pictures taken from a drone, natural picture taken from a drone in order to have um, a 3D reconstruction of this area. I'm going to switch now to another project where I uploaded a couple of 
picture, a couple of bunch of pictures, data sets that have been taken from the same um, original data set and have been processed a little bit. So they got a little bit of difference between a chunk and the other. But this allow me to this allows me to uh, better explain how the image calculation works inside MetaShape. So this is the the number one data set that is the, the one that I've just shown you in the previous project. So these are the pictures taken from the drone. I shot these pictures with the, the option of shooting raw plus JPEG file in the field. So these are the the JPEG file taken from uh, the the camera well set shot in the field and immediately processed by the the camera then there's the uh, another bunch of JPEG file which is which are the JPEG edited file so I took the DNG file the raw files I processed them inside a uh, photographic software I use Adobe Lightroom and I enhanced some features like shadows and lights in order to have the better 3d reconstruction the better alignment in the next steps so this is these are the the jpeg a little bit enhanced um, if you check them out compared with the others you can see that the quality here is still high but it's not so higher if you check the jpeg file we are here we are around 0 0.85 maybe here we can say we are around well i say i just say that we are the quality the overall quality stay has stayed the same then i uploaded and uh, have the software check the dng file of the same data set so even if i open up a dng file even if a dng file so a raw file tend to be a little bit flat a little bit flatter than the the G jpeg file uh, that's because you have to edit in, um, in in softwares like for example lightroom even considering that the quality the overall quality is anyway it's good it's 0 0.85 so uh, that's the same so that's a good quality then what i did was taking this the dng files and uh, over edited them in order to have files that have high contrast in it so if i zoom in you can see these these stripes here are so uh so deep you can see uh so clear this uh, these stripes and the the quality that the software assigned to these images was a little bit lower than the other it was not it's, these are not bad images, but I think that I won't use these images in, in this process. Uh, I'd rather use the other ones. Just to show you the fact that if you enhance the overall contrast, that doesn't mean that the overall image quality will be uh, judged in a bad way. Because the information that the software will will seek for the image quality estimation is not the overall contrast rather than the sharpness sharpness is kind of uh, measuring the contrast in kind of a spot spotting the 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 contrast of the image so you, the, the images are scouted not pixel by pixel but little areas by little areas and the sharpness so the local contrast is judged and the estimation is based on the kind of judgment around the the sharpness in fact if i if we check this this chunk here jpeg low contrast i took these pictures the dng file and i basically removed the overall contrast i took the slider of the contrast and i moved it all the way through to zero you can see the overall contrast is low the image is flat but what happened here is that the software gave a good quality for these images the, we are above 0 0.9 except for these two pictures that they are close to 0 0.9 this is one 0 0.85 so the image quality uh, has raised a little bit 
in my opinion i won't use this kind of pictures for the processing because these pictures are flat but i think that the software will do a good job using these pictures this is not mm, meant for mm, for saying listen bring down the contrast the overall contrast no not at all but just to show you how the image quality is judged so the sharpness is the way to go not just the the overall contrast but i think that the the more uh, the more interesting information are here in this chunk where i uploaded uh pictures that i edited in photoshop and i for purpose made bad pictures so double click here and look at the quality we got some weird numbers well not so weird we are we got some different numbers considering the other chunks that we've just seen we got five pictures with zero quality and we got one pictures with 1.2 quality so we got we this picture has an image quality that is higher than one i'm gonna go through it um now and i'm gonna show you how this is a kind of false positive for a good quality image because if i double click it i open up a pictures that is five stop underexposed so i i don't actually i don't know why the software uh, estimated a, a quality that is so high for this picture that is so underexposed because if i check another picture which is this one this picture is two and half um it is underexposed of two and a half points and this picture has a zero point of quality so my advice is if you have some pictures that has a super high value uh, a super high quality check them out if there are some isolated pictures check them out because they may not be so good as the software is telling you is saying you as the quality that he has considering the quality that it, it has calculated but let's go through the other zero quality images so let's double click on this one okay this one is of course zero quality because this picture is blurred i used a uh, photoshop and applied a motion blur motion blur filter to this picture and you can see it's we can see the movement uh, it, it, it this picture is like a picture that has been taken with um, a too low shutter speed of the camera and of course these are these pictures are so hard to analyze in order to find features point in order to align that pictures with the other one so this is a, a zero point image quality picture and i totally agree with meta shape let's go through the others this picture is zero point and i agree with meta shape i applied a gaussian blur filter here but just a tiny amount of of blurring and the software gave a zero point image quality gave zero again so this is not enough for the software to analyze the picture better well better saying to take features point from this picture there's another zero here which is this one i edited these pictures this picture in photoshop again and applied uh, a bigger amount of gaussian blur filter and as you can see if i zoom in in these pictures this picture i cannot see barely anything recognizable on the ground so it the software gave it another zero and there's a, then there's the last zero which is this one which is a five stop overexposed image and of course here it's so difficult to find out features to use for the alignment and alignment step so these are the as you can see these are the main reasons that 
drive the software to give bad quality image to images that are not good. So in order to recap it, we can say that the, the most important thing that you have to bear in mind when you are taking pictures, taking photographs that will be processed inside a structure from motion software is that you have to take care of the sharpness of the image. So you have absolutely uh, to avoid blurred image. So pay attention to your shutter speed and pay attention to your focus point. If a picture is blurred, even if it's motion blurred or out of focus picture, um, that picture is not good for a structure from motion photogrammetric process. And the software will, will tell you, of course. The other thing that you have to pay attention to is the exposure. So pay attention to the exposure of the, of the pictures. Um, underexposed or overexposed pictures, better saying light underexposed and light overexposed pictures are not a problem, especially if you shoot raw, so you have the chance to get back to the good exposure amount of good good exposure quality of that pictures in post production but if the picture is over exposed extremely overexposed or extremely underexposed these are not good pictures um shooting raw helps you maybe if you shoot uh raw and you choose kind of a automatic exposure inside in the camera make uh, make your life way, way, way more easier. Um, I think that you should avoid blurring images. So take care of the shutter speed and take care of, to the focus point. This was a video uh, just to show you how you can check this picture uh, and see if there are bad pictures, bad quality pictures. Let me go back to the to to the to meta shape and just for showing you that when you have bad quality pictures you just select them all right click remove cameras yes and this camera our cameras are removed from uh, the the main area from the from the workspace and you can proceed with your processing just with the good pictures that the quality that the software has has judged with its algorithm i hope that this video has been useful feel free to let me know what you think about um, if you have, if you'd like to have more information about me, you can go to www.metricaltalks.com. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next video, and ciao.